cuties, I am back. Finally, I'm here to give you guys the secrets to how I got my hair this long. This is my hair. It is super long. It is super full. It is super healthy. As you can tell, it's very long. I'm gonna just show you guys what my hair used to look like. Like, actually, let me get my phone because I don't have the. You guys, I had literally chopped my hair off and the date was May 1st, 2020. So it's been three years and a few months. And I went from the big chop, literally the big chop, literally chopped off all my hair, the big chop, to this in three years. And let me tell you guys, I'm gonna break this up easy for you. For one, I'm gonna just say what it is. There are some steps, there are a few things I did. Your hair is an organ. It's like literally part of you. It's alive. It literally holds energy, you guys. So you have to be like very open-minded. If you're opening this video and you're like, nope, nothing she says is gonna work for me, then it's not. Nothing I say is gonna work for you because you're already with the mindset and the energy that it's not gonna work, okay? Uh, for two, this is factual. This is like things that actually work. Our hair, as you might not think of it but think of it as a sponge it absorbs everything you are it absorbs our sweat it absorbs our energy it absorbs everything that we are so i'm gonna start off with like the super important part of the type of uh, shampoo and conditioner you're using you guys know how i am i'm all about holistic super clean i'm going to show you guys the shampoos i use that does not mean you have to get the exact one just get one similar in regards to ingredients, health, and things. Like, if you cannot read the ingredient, don't get it, okay? Let me tell you what, guys, why I use Native. I used to use a shampoo that I bought from Whole Foods. I have this app that you scan this barcode on, and it tells you each ingredient and how and why it's harmful for you, and it grades it, right? This is graded at a 90%, meaning that this is literally an A+. Plus. Like... This is a really good uh, brand. The one I was using from Whole Foods said it was organic, said it was like super clean. However, it was rated like 10 out of 100. And just because I got it at Whole Foods, I thought that maybe it was healthy, but that's not how it works. And that's what you guys need to understand. All the product, all the ingredients are literally listed here. They'll tell you their ingredients and what it actually means. I love that ingredients, what it actually means improve your shampoo and conditioner because that's what you're applying directly on your scalp and your hair every day and it matters so in terms of products i use for my hair that is it i don't use no oils i don't use no stay in conditioner i don't use anything else for my hair occasionally and i say occasionally because i'm not religiously on this i do want to get better at it I will literally get one of these spray bottles, make rice water with rosemary water, spray it on my scalp, and let it simmer, sit um, for a few hours, and then I wash it. You rinse your rice, your arroz, with uh, water. The water that you utilize, I use that water. Then I, I throw in rosemary in there. I boil the rosemary. Then I put it in this. I'm first going to go with products um physical things i did and then just like a uh, little extra if you want to go above and beyond hear me out y'all it starts with the simple things sometimes less is more sometimes doing the things that are sustainable is what's going to keep you doing it because you guys know this to be very factual i am very big on gut health greens now hold up let me tell y'all why because there is science facts that you can google like, you should do the homework. Don't believe what I'm saying. You could do the homework and Google it yourself. A wise person once told me, don't believe anything anybody says. Research it yourself. Take it with a grain of salt, what I'm saying. But I'm just, like I said, I'm just telling you guys what really helped me out. Um, gut health is super important. If you have stomach issues, you probably, not everybody, right? But the majority of people, the majority of Americans live with something called leaky gut. What does that mean? the nutrients and the food that you are eating are leaking out of your gut literally and you're not absorbing the nutrients that your body needs what happens when that happens you're deficient in a lot of vitamins you're deficient in a lot of things and therefore your hair is not growing your skin is bad your nails are brittle and it just all kind of makes sense because 
There's only so much goddamn product that we can put on our hair. The other half is who we are, what we're made of, and are we consuming the appropriate nutrients. This is prescribed by my doctor. The One Soul Greens is prescribed by my doctor. She's a holistic doctor in Beverly Hills. She prescribes this. Um, our greens has biotin, which as you guys all know, I think all girls know that it helps with nail, skin, and hair growth. Um, it also has L-glutamine. Everything that you need in your body is just leaking out when you have leaky gut. It's Your body is not fully absorbing, so your body is kind of functioning as like a malnourished person. Even This greens over here has vitamin C, D, B1, B2, B12. Like It's packed with vitamins, and we've made it easy, right? We've made it easy to do it in a scoop to do it in your drink shit throw it in your protein with your creatine or in your water when you're you drinking throughout the day but i have truly attested that health is super important with your skin health a lot of people are like what's your skincare like routine what's uh your nails your, your hair yeah I'm telling you guys, if you guys just follow these simple rules, literally these simple rules, you guys will 100%, not 100%, 1,000% see a difference. Literally. Like, I will bet money on it. Um, and you don't need the most. You don't need to do the most. We don't got all the time. So this is a simple way to make your hair grow healthy. And not only that, it's going to benefit your skin. It's going to benefit your nails. It's going to benefit your overall like life. So that's the physical things I use, you guys, and that is it. A good shampoo, a good conditioner, occasionally rosemary water, rice water, spray it on your scalp, and greens, okay? Those are the products that you need. Anything else is more physical, and I'll get to that. So now we're in the physical part. What do you physically do to keep and grow your hair and maintain it healthy? Cut your hair every three to six months, please. If, you're, if your hair grows a little slower, do every six months. I'm not talking about doing the big chop. I'm talking about you go to someone you trust, someone recommended because there are people with a heavy hand and they cut a little more than they need. Go to someone recommended, go to someone you trust and tell them, look, I want no looks, no nothing. I simply just want the dead ends because it's like, dead weight we're carrying when you have a split end your hair just caps at its growth two things braid your hair every night before bed now let me tell you guys something i braid my hair four to five times a week every night okay i go to bed and it's a mexican tail it's a mexican tail they say that if you do braids your hair will grow faster however if you are latin if you're hispanic super tight braids can actually pull and damage your hair because our hair is different than uh, ma many Afro-Latina and black women. So our hair, when you, I used to think that doing protective hairstyles were helping me, but actually it was hurting my hair. What works best for us is braiding it in the three-way braid. What takes me literally a minute every night and the reason is because si no se te enreda el pelo. What does that mean? Your hair gets tangled. What does that mean? You're losing hair every time your hair gets tangled. And there's like this cut circulation almost. And you lose hair. Okay? Massive amount of hair? No. But if you get in the habit of braiding your hair, you're protecting it. You can also use a, a bonnet. Or something like, you know, a scarf or whatever to protect your hair. Just do the braids and that works for me. But either or works, but do one or the other. Um, and also, depending on your hair, braids do matter, okay? Braid your hair every night. Um, cut your hair. That's like the physical things, right? Okay, so this one is really exciting. And this one is something new that I started incorporating three years ago. This cycle of my chop and length. Uh, cycle um, and that is head spas. You pay for this information, I'm giving it to y'all for the free, okay? They grab a little microscope and they look at your scalp and they tell you the like like health of your scalp and they recommend it once every three months. 
the price ranges i mean i used to go to beverly hills so i think the price was like 120 150 which even then it's not like super crazy for every three months but you know some people are more on a budget and 120 150 every three months is just not sustainable and that is okay because there's actually cheaper places that i have seen they have some in orange county they have some i think in like downtown la they're becoming a lot more popular meaning that the price is just going to get lower the price is just going to get a lot cheaper and i fully fully believe in this so let me tell you guys what the head spot is they grab a micro microscope they look at it through your hair how much hair you're growing the quality whatever right and then they do like this spa this massage for one it's the over a body massage a head spa is incredible literally get it every three months ESOC I don't miss okay I don't miss my head spas because what it truly is it's like exfoliating your scalp now think about this this is how they explained it to me and it makes the most sense having a having your head we sweat every day we oil glands we have oil glands in our heads it's like an extension of our face right so imagine never unclogging never exfoliating your skin ever how many years have we not exfoliated our scalp when you get out of the head spa you feel like your literal head is breathing like you literally feel like everything opened up and it's like literally breathing you are exfoliating and unclogging you are unclogging the pores of your scalp of your head and for those who you i don't really use products and mine was semi-clogged. Like, mine was clogged. My pores were clogged, but not like the lady was like, there's other people here that have it clogged, clogged, literally clogged. Um, and that causes a lot of dandruff. That causes a lot of issues, right? Um, with me, mine was clogged, and there's a reason why, and I'm going to get to it right now. But, yeah, you guys, you need to unclog your head, okay? You need to unclog your head, and going to a head spa does it for you it's like getting a facial right it's like getting a facial but another thing that you can do is also using one of these i use this every time i shower every time i wash my hair i use this but it's for sure doing something it's for sure helping a lot so if you don't have one of these y'all need one of these um this should have been more on the physical part but you guys get what i'm saying like you guys need 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 one of these my whole life, I have heard that you should not wash your hair every day um, because the longer you go without washing your hair, the better, right? Okay, now let me tell you something. If you guys tend to sweat a lot, if you guys tend to work out a lot, we overproduce oils. You should not be going two, three days without washing your hair. You need to be washing your hair every other day. And at first, I was like, there's no way. Like, what she told me she's like every when do you wash your hair and i'm like every two to three days like sometimes four the longer the better right and she's like no she's like especially you you work out a lot i can tell you work out a lot and you need to be washing your hair every other day every day is not good every other day is what's suggested <coughs> Ooh. every other day is what's suggested but sometimes i don't have the time you guys have a lot of hair sometimes i go two days but that's the most i'll go i won't go three days without washing my hair and she was all like a lot of people believe that it's bad to wash your hair it could be bad however going so long without unclogging your pores without washing your scalp is actually doing worse it made a lot of sense because i physically saw it with the microscope you could physically see with the microscope your clogged pores it's crazy you guys and let's keep it a buck let's keep it real genetics do play a part okay they do play a part but also what we do plays a huge part as well if you say well i can't get abs no one in my family has it's genetics well maybe you're the one to break that barrier maybe you're the one to start getting the nutrition that you need there is changes that we can do there is things that we can do to improve our overall health that will portray in our skin in our nails and our hair overall i avoid using uh heat on my hair as much okay um i don't have a heat protectant like a thing for my hair i would use like i do use some things right like i use like the wax to slick my hair when i do my buns right um or my ponytails i do use a uh, dry shampoo when i have an important you know event or something i didn't shower i didn't wash my hair the day before um so i need like a little help like yeah all these things in moderation are okay 
everything is okay in moderation, but make sure it's more good, healthy things and habits that you're implementing than not. I've gotten like more heatless styles to do. Like I'm going to really learn and master this and like show you guys and you guys are going to go on this journey with me. I am going to going to try to do like the hair rollers um because honestly like I just want to do heatless styles like, you know, and only use heat when like like I'm not going to use heat to go to, me personally, okay? I me, okay? You are you. If you use heat to go to the gym, that's beautiful and that's perfect for you. Uh, but me personally, I don't want to use no heat going to the gym. I don't want to use no heat going to work. Like maybe sometimes if it's an important meeting, right? Um, but like if I could do heatless styles and super cute styles that are minimal, um, then, you know, that's a win for me. Um, I sometimes love how I wake up the next day after I braid my hair at night. And sometimes I don't. So I just stick it in a bun or I make cute styles that are super cute and like not so much like heat because i feel like if i'm going to an event if it's the weekend if i'm doing something if i want to just take pictures i'll use heat yes balance please use heat um but overall like if i don't have to i won't but yeah you guys i hope you guys loved my video i hope that you guys embark on this journey and like i kid you not if you literally follow everything step by step by what i'm telling you i know for a fact I know for a fact your hair will grow. So tag me, message me, DM me, send me your before and afters. Save this video, comment down here in three months if it worked for you. I know it will. Um, I know it will, I know it'll help. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you guys love this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and bye.